Hello, this is Aaron Dominion, and this is the Creation Kit Scripting Series Papyrus Tutorials. This is the first segment of the Objects uh, segment, and we are going to be doing the Introduction to Object-Oriented Scripting, and this is the first part of that, Objects. So what is an object? An object is a collection of variables, events, and functions that go together. Um, Typically, these collections serve as a model for the actual item. Uh, some real-world examples I thought of off the hand uh, was car or plane. Um, the controller I'm holding to move through the slides is another example. Um, in terms of Skyrim or Fallout, if you're looking at this uh, for scripting, object reference, actors, misc objects, terminals, etc. So let's look at the first real-world example just to get an idea of what could be a part of these objects. So we have a car. Um, so a few variables I came up with. There's a lot more. You could go into more detail depending on what you need. Um, but you have like a make, you have a model, you have a year, the color, what condition it's in, etc. And then you have uh, functions that are attached to the car, uh, like starting the car, stopping the car's engine, uh, turning the car, uh, braking at stoplights, etc. Um, the second one I've come up with was plane, um, and uh, the variables for it, you have like model of the plane, whether it's a Boeing or something like that. Uh, the passenger capacity, the engine type, is it a jet fuel plane, is it a propeller based, etc. And then you have functions like taking off, landing, uh, starting, stopping like the car, or turning. Um, and there can be much more depending on what's needed for this model. And then to switch it up a little bit, let's go with the light where you can have uh, brightness, uh, what state it's currently in, uh, the bulb type, what color it's uh, emanating, the power uh, that's being received by the light, um, and there's other things that could be used to describe it, especially if you're thinking about smart lights and things like that. Um, then the functions, uh, is it on, is it off, uh, illuminate the room, those are just a few of them that I could think of at the time, but they can have much more obviously attached to them. Let's look at an actual uh, Skyrim example for a moment. This can also tie into uh, Fallout because they also have MISC objects. So, MISC object is of type form, so you'll see that, oh hey, it has a form ID, it has keywords, it has a gold value, and there's a lot of other things that it has internally. I don't know the full list of those since Bethesda doesn't really give access to the variable side of it. But uh, there are the functions that they give us uh, access to, like get form ID, get gold value, register for update game time. I believe it's register for timer on Fallout. Uh, don't quote me on that though. Um, and then examples of a few of these MISC objects, gold, forks, spoons, um, a lot of your normal clutter items would comprise the MISC object role. And uh, this is only just one example, but uh, there's many different items out there in Skyrim and Fallout. So why are objects important? Uh, well, it's because all items in Skyrim or Fallout are objects. Objects interact with one another, like you have actors. Uh, Ulfric is swinging an axe at the player. That's an object-to-object -object interaction. Um, and you know the limits of a particular item if you know what the object is about, like an actor object can't play a sound. That's just something they can't do because they're not a sound object. <laughs> uh, and then any script you create is an object, but I will cover that at a later point as we go into more concepts for objects. And that's really it for uh, this little introduction. I wanted to start slow because object-oriented 
design is something that is a little bit more complex for people starting out but these are some simple concepts and it should help you for starting to think about some of your items um, anyway I'm a modder and I'm still modding for uh, Skyrim primarily uh, I have forum profile and uh, you can check out my Nexus profile if you can't get a hold of me that way and uh, you can always leave a comment on the YouTube video itself uh, thanks and uh, hope to see you next time in the next episode